y'all it's your boy on tour and today man i got you guys a special video man i'm gonna be showing you guys how to become better at call of duty modern warfare man these are the settings that we use like when we uh play modern warfare i got a nine nine sins i would stick around to like a six to twelve sensitivity because anything lower than that you just have a hard time trying to like turn on somebody so you want to be able to move like as fast as possible in a way I got dynamic response curve and then I got aim assist on standard. I double tap ADS to to like mount. But I mean it's up to you guys, bro. Like y'all can choose whatever y'all want for this setting right here. It don't really matter. Just pick what's comfortable for you, man. Just pick whichever one y'all like. Yeah, uh taps. This is important too. Slide behavior. You want to set that as tap because people be asking me like how do I be moving so fast? Sliding actually give you like a little speed boost when you sliding around the map and stuff. It's faster than like sprinting. So that's why I, I use the slide ability a lot. And I just tap it real, just tap it real quick. Like every once in a while, whenever your health regenerate or your sprint regenerate, just slide, bro. When your stamina go up, slide. As soon as your stamina go up, slide, bro, slide. Slide. Also, this is like my general settings, like my brightness. I put that at 59%. Film grain at 50. Um turn off motion blur motion blur messed me up bro like it make you kind of dizzy I ain't gonna lie you want to turn that off weapon motion blur turn that off too this is a distraction got the color blindness is turned off as well and, um damn bro somebody texted me and then the audio bro audio got bait a uh, boost high put on that boost high I turn the music volume down because I don't like hearing the music let's get right into the gameplay man I'm sure you guys and uh, we're gonna break down this gameplay that I, I just played going crazy and got a nuclear. So, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys when we get to the next clip. Peace. Alright, man. As you guys can tell, man, what you wanna do is always center your crosshair. You see how I got my crosshair centered? That's tip number one, man. You wanna keep your crosshair centered wherever you're trying to aim at. This will allow you to get the first shot off so that way the enemies don't. Uh, they never expect it, bro. Sometimes the enemies don't even be looking the right way. They be looking up, down, to the left, to the right. But you want to keep your center, man. Keep your center so that way you can get that first shot. Wherever your eyes are looking at, that's where your crosshair should be at. Wherever your eyes are looking. Tip number two, man. Practice your drop shot and jump shot, man. Because, like, jump shot and drop shot, it allow you to be a harder target to hit. So, man, I mean, if you guys want to be, like, invincible pretty much like me like well, look at this bro we bobbing and weaving out here y'all but anyway um it's kind of like faking the enemy bro like they they never expect it to happen so like it catch them off guard so yeah you want to practice doing that drop shot and drop shot and oh uh, yeah man all right tip number three man always pay attention to your mini map because you want to know where the enemies at and by you seeing your teammates on the map you can know you can have an idea of where your teammates are dying at so that's most likely where the enemy's going to be, where your teammates are dying at. So yeah, man, make sure you guys pay attention to the map. And speaking of paying attention to the map, make sure you guys go for flanks, man. You see how we're doing this flank play right here? I flank around, kill these guys over here. You want to, like, flank, man. Like, flanking is definitely very effective in this game. So all them guys was over there distracted. They were shooting at the t uh, teammates on my, on my team. And uh, you don't want to like go face to face with these dudes on this game because it's just, it's just so many head glitches and so many spots that you can't even see people sometimes. So try to flank if you see somebody. Like this guy right here in front of me, I knew I wasn't going to be able to kill the second guy. So I back up and let my teammate go ahead. Sometimes you'll use your teammates as bait because sometimes they can have a better angle and pick the guys off for you. So make sure you pay attention to your mini map. This game is nothing like BO4, so you can't just go running in and gunning. What? It's, it's very, like, you die fast in this game, bro. So, like, this time to kill is so fast. But, uh, as you can tell, man, we're going on this flank again. Bop, got him. We're just going off, popping off in the spawn. The dude clueless. Teammate going that way, so I go to the left. You just want to go to the T. Go to route since your teammate's not going. Like, try not to be near your teammates that much because like you want to be a team player and get that map control man map control in this game is important that's another tip bro get map control because like you can hold down one side of the map your teammate can hold down the other side 
And then the enemy team is pretty much screwed because they getting shot from every angle. Another thing though, you don't want to stand in one spot too long because eventually these guys start hunting you down. There's something about this game that people just get so mad, bro. They just want their revenge and stuff. They start throwing stun grenades, flash grenades, and just start trying to get you out that spot. So you want to flank around like I just did, man. Like, try not to stay in one spot. Pick them off from different angles and stuff like that. Um, having claymores and bouncing buddies also help too. So you can throw a claymore where you was at or a bouncing buddy where you was at at first. And they'll come trying to look for you. Then they run into a trip mine. And y'all, that's how you get the nukes, man. Let's get it, man. Rack up the kills, y'all. I mean, like, you can stay in one spot, but you got to have claymores and trip mines and stuff like that to protect you. Make sure you're using the restock perk, too, so you can get it back. Because it restocks your claymore and your trip mines. But uh, that's if you want to stay in the same spot and, like, like patrol the area. Sometimes I do that. But uh, right now, I'm playing aggressive with C4s and getting, like, in the spawn and stuff like that. But, um... Yeah, man, they will come back for you, though. They will definitely come back. They always come back. They'll get tired of dying by you, and then they'll just say, F I don't care about the objective no more. I want to kill this guy. Let's keep killing me. Another thing you're going to do, man, is wall bang doors. Like, shoot through doors. If you see somebody in the doorway, or if you know they're standing at a doorway, just wall bang it, because you'll get a free kill. If they run through that door, that's a free kill right there as well. So make sure y'all shoot through doors if you have a feeling that somebody there. Cause you don't even need FMJ to shoot through a door. Like, I don't even use FMJ. But, um, another thing people always ask me is, how do I blow up my C4 so fast? All you gotta do is double tap square if you're on PlayStation. On Xbox, I think it's up. X on Xbox. But, uh, man, make sure you guys, um, before you push out, try to try to count like 5, 10 seconds or something like that. Because COD timing is everything. You don't want to just push out and like without looking and stuff so like you want to know where the enemies are at before you push out and stuff like that so going back to what i said before read your mini map or read your mini map your teammates will basically let you know where the enemies are if they die from a certain uh angle or something like that so yeah you'll know where enemy is at you'll see you'll hear the gunfire and the uh pay attention to the compass you'll see the compass on the map too light up red what a lot of people don't know is the compass ha also have like different call outs too like as you can tell on the compass right there it shows like where people are located at like different call outs so if your teammate character yell enemy by the freezers you know like where the freezers are at you just gotta learn the different call outs and stuff like that you want to have an idea where the enemies be at hopefully this video help you guys out and uh make sure you guys leave a like comment subscribe for more content man i got class setups coming out let me know what you guys want to see, man. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on the video, man. We drop our nuke and go crazy. Yeah. Top again, y'all not rise, y'all. We legends, we don't die, y'all. Hit them with that nuke, boy. Make them have a flute, boy. Hopefully, you enjoy these tips and tricks. Now you can drop kills like this. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> Yo, I'm out of here, bro. Peace. You type in the chat, baby. Oh. Oh, my fuck. Need better accuracy? Be sure to use code 12 on Control Freaks, man. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Make sure you guys turn on notifications, man, to know when I go live. Follow me on Twitch for daily live streams. Join the Discord. You already know. Let's get it. And make sure you guys use code 12 for focus. If you're trying to get cracked out and increase your reaction. Call me my Luther King. Cause I got a lot of got dreams. A lot of dreams. These niggas plotting their schemes. I run up here on what.